Welcome back to 4-H Embryology. I'm Denise Sherrill. I'm the 4-H agent and today is day 15 for our embryos. We've been talking about how our embryos have been growing and the yolk sac has been shrinking and the air cell has been growing. So today I'm going to show you some tests that you could do with eggs in your refrigerator to see how fresh they are. So I've just got a plain bowl of water. I'm gonna put a brown egg and a white egg from the refrigerator in the bowl of water. You can see how they're sinking. That means that the air cell is small. So I'm gonna take them out and dry them off. If they were old, the air cell would be big and they would float. So that's one way you can use the air cell to figure out how old your eggs are. When you store your eggs, it's important to store them with the point down and to store them in a covered container that will help them to stay fresh. So another way that you can check your eggs at home is with a little flashlight. We're gonna use it for a candler. And if the air cell is small, like a dime, that means that they're fresh. If it's a little bit bigger, they're not so fresh. And if it's as big as a quarter, then that's an old egg. And that's a way that you can check your eggs at home. Now, I've washed my hands. I'm gonna turn my paper eggs over. You can turn your eggs over. You can check the temperature take a drink of water and write down the time of day. And you'll be recording just like I'm doing with these eggs. Today we're gonna look at a drawing of an egg. This egg is fertile. The germinal disc is round and we see the yolk is yellow. The albumin is another name for the egg white, but this drawing shows some of the membranes. Here's the inner membrane and the outer membrane. There's that air cell that we've been talking about. The membranes are really important and the air cell is really important. The veins that we've been looking at take the carbon dioxide and the waste out from the embryo and they take it to these membranes and they bring oxygen in and they help to get the nutrition from the yolk. There's also nutrition in the white. Uh, there's riboflavin and protein and water and all that's needed for the embryo to grow. So this air cell continues to grow bigger as the embryo grows bigger. And this, these are some eggs that have been cracked open. You can look at this one right here. The germinal disc is round. If you have chickens at home, if you have a hen and a rooster and you crack them open, you might be able to see this germinal disc. Sometimes I have to take a spoon and gently turn the yolk around to see it. So this is a fertile egg. And this is an infertile egg. If you buy your eggs from the grocery store, it's most likely that they are infertile. And the germinal disc just looks like a blob that would not develop into an embryo. I've been ha adding water pretty much every time when I check the incubator. So I wanted to show you the humidity is low it's 46 percent so i'm going to take the lid off the incubator and show you where i add the water these are our turkey eggs just going to add a little bit of water here and then i'm going to turn all of our eggs they're on x so i'm going to be turning them to o Think about how does a chicken or a turkey turn her eggs. The 
Okay, I've got my flashlight here, and here's the white egg from the grocery store. Now this egg has a stamp on it, so ignore, ignore that stamp. The only thing that you can see that looks anything like an air cell is sort of a grayish circle around that stamp. I would say it's a dime size. So this is our second test to show that this is a very fresh egg and it has a very small air cell. Now this is the brown egg and similar to our other brown eggs, it's hard to see in it. Just like the white egg, I would say it has a grayish spot at the top, maybe a nickel sized gray spot. So we know that both of these eggs are fresh. Okay, here's our turkey egg. Remember this is day 15 for our embryos, which you can clearly see on the turkey egg is the air cell. Now I can see some veins in what looks like part of the embryo. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then as I turn the egg, we can see the egg white. The embryo in the turkey egg is, is getting large. But mostly what we see is the air cell. Here's our white egg. As I turn it, I hope you're seeing veins. I'm seeing quite a few veins. But there's the large air cell in the bottom of the white egg. See some veins there and a large embryo. So this is day 15 for our chicken and turkey eggs.